let's create some roads this is completely unplanned i had some ideas i would want to go over and let's just get to it so this is a new project do it on your own uh we're doing everything that you would do on any kind of project we create a new shapefile layer put it somewhere concise where everything else will be this will be our roads geometry type line string i uh, your dementia i mean your uh, crs shoes later doesn't matter we will need a name for our road uh, and either type or size but i like to have it as a type Actually, we can make it size just for the hell of it. And uh, integer, it's just gonna be integer. We can make it like a decimal. Let me think. Let me that probably not. Length of ten is too much. Four fields. Okay. So. I'm probably gonna use Google Maps thingy here, but let's use your own thing, whatever you want. Let's create a road somewhere in Africa. Matter. As long as we have a... Uh... Our CRS shouldn't matter for this. I'm not gonna touch that at all. As long as we don't have these question marks here, everything will be fine. A safe roads. Okay, so what's my thought process? So we can go a couple ways with this. We can have multiple different uh, types for it. Uh, as in, create multiple of these and have them work separately from each other and depend on code. But what we're going to do is probably also going to depend on code, but it's going to be a little bit cleaner, I guess you could say. So, type, type, type. We have to think about the type and the name. So, I think it's best if we try to replicate, actually, something from here. So, let's actually not use Africa, but try to do USA instead. So, this would be our main highways, I guess. I don't know how you guys Americans call it. But let's say this could be a size or size, size, size. We have to first think about the size. Okay. Well, let's look at this road for a second. And use our measurement tool. Line. See it. It is about six and a half meters did we make it decimals i don't think we did so it's going to be a size of seven okay that's a bit of an issue becomes an issue anyway just let's go with the flow doing a little demonstration did we actually make it decimals you know what let's get rid of this let's get rid of this size and let's make it a decimal size precision of one length of three would be absolutely fine length of two is fine okay so let's create a road and make it straight just for this purpose id of one name of College Street, probably College Highway or something. I don't know. Highway. Dean. Size is going to be six point five, and let's see. It's, it's probably not going to be working like a U.S. highway. Okay, it works like this here. Okay, there's a little bit of an issue here. 
wait, why is the size? Uh oh, that's not okay. Hold up. All right, one second. Okay. Size, 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 double reel. Change that, we can't. Okay. Make precision two. Size. Okay, sorry about that. A lot of mistakes like this. Not redoing this again. I twenty six. What is it? Six point five. Why is it doing that? Okay, let's so just keep it that way. Let's double check here, but save attribute table. Okay, it's doing this weird thing for some reason. Um, I'm not sure why it does that. Oh my god, I have to redo this thing. What is it? There you go. Codes and we don't see it. Why do we not see it? Well, should be able to, but we don't because stupid. Huh? Okay. So, very planned, just planned. This was all part of a plan. Don't worry about it. Roads. So let's try to replicate this. In fact, we're probably gonna use a different way for this. So to we can do rule based, but I'm gonna do single symbol because I love single symbol. Okay. So here we have two lines. One is bigger than the other. Um, and it should be meters at scale. Uh, scale. And I would say one line should be 6.4. Should be 6.5. I don't, don't remember which one will be on top of the other, so sorry about that. Uh, as for the color, I think we should be able to pick, yep, just like that. And this should be a little, little color. And let's apply and check if that works. No, it doesn't. It should be. Actually, let's make 6.2 for now. Is okay see too well doesn't look like correct scale to me i will have to double check that um it up no hold up said he's trying to snap Let's make it five. Put it in the back again, maybe that's gonna work. I want to. Should be on top, but it's still not showing. Hmm. Okay, there we go. It's better, but it's still doing this thing here for some reason. Let's double check that. That. Oh, we probably should be using Cartesian. Let's check. This is 6.5. Okay. This is 12.3. Okay. 
this actually needs to be 12.3. Good what we noticed now. So let's make this 11 and make this 12.3. Okay, should, should have been fine. Uh, it tries to scale it like that. Actually 6.9. <laughs> okay, so it does this a little bit of a trick, but we're not going to be doing that for the sake of it. We need to be at scale. 16. What was it again? Six point. Just say seven. Let's make it six point five again. Not again. Seven point. And there we go. So we kind of replicated that road. We can make it a little bit thicker in terms of. There we go, kind of better. And what about these arrows? Well, we can do the arrows too. It's no problem. We can add a little thing here. Um, arrow. We can make it. make map units should be meters by default uh let's check oh it's not true this yeah i thought so uh should be this or wait a second let's not touch this should be meters. Uh, I don't know why it's so huge. Make everything at scale. We need everything to be at scale. Um, apparently, it doesn't use meters or something. And it doesn't get smaller. Let's experiment, because I never actually did arrows like that, but it would be fun to if it worked. Uh, I think just for this I'm going to leave the arrows out. Just imagine I explained it to you. You'll figure it out, I promise, after we're done with this. All right, let's, let's do this thing where it opens this box here. Um, if it is a highway, so the the size needs to be uh, over six. What did we make our size for this highway? Seven. Is it doing that again? Six point five. No, oh, six point. Six point nine, right? Okay, it's still doing that. It's fine, it doesn't matter. Shouldn't be a big issue. Bit annoying, but can you do? So first, let's make sure that this here will only apply if... Double check something. You know what, let's make it rule-based. So it switches to rule-based, like that. And we're gonna make a rule. 
filter right here. Gonna click this guy here, expression builder, and we're gonna just do an if statement, or it could be. Yeah, just make it filter if statement. Uh, if size over six, and true else false. You know, like that. Do, 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 do. should work let's double check if we create a road that is less than that it shouldn't uh, display at all and do, 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 do. size 2 yep okay perfect we're gonna keep that road there and we're gonna create in something else here rule based labeling Create a new one, filter for size if size over six, true, false. I think you could do size over, over six as well, but I think if statements are the ones which are definitely going to work for you. So this is going to be four highways, four highways. Make a description if you want and we're gonna have a background oh it already gives you this kind of thing here it's a highway we're gonna make it name we only need the name uh it's sad we did this little thing here so we to see okay there we go this again so we can see and all right so first it has a background of fill color this one and it has a stroke color of not sure if i'll be able to sample that try there we go Okay, it has a little bit of a radius, so it's like circular thing here, so you can make it a couple points, I guess, and we'll see how it looks. Uh, next thing, placement shouldn't be parallel, it should be horizontal, for this case. Okay. Um, do we have? Should make a size thing. I think. Five. Or just experiment the one which looks best for you. Let's try with this. Still don't see the stroke. Why is that? Because it's hairline. Make it a couple of points so we can see it. Do, 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 do. Working not the same color. No pen, there we go. Sorry about that. 1.5 points. Okay. Oh. Why? Exactly. Smaller. Okay, let's let's not focus on this kind of thing. Let's you you know what to do, you just have to uh shape it as you as you wish <laughs> the text color first we need a font which looks like this it could be like roboto which you need to install or Man. it's definitely not gonna work uh font whatever you want color let's make so that thing. Let's 
only getting more horrible. Um, I'll just use the robot though, okay? Kill me. Size. Whatever. Let's leave it like this. It doesn't matter. Uh, imagine we did arrows. Whoosh. Going the arrows. Amazing. Uh, gonna come across some issues probably if your road type is in topology right here. This one, join style and cap styles are might not work for you because uh, I can demonstrate. Uh, let's make it snappy. So if a road is like that, size six, six seven. It might do something like that. Now, that's where symbol layers come in handy. And you do that by clicking on this fellow right here. Um, clicking OK. So, if I remember correctly, but actually putting this, one of these would be one. Leave. Okay, and like that, it's fixed. Whoa, amazing. But the cap thing I want to show you, it shows itself uh, when you have different road types. So maybe first I'm gonna make some different road types. So first, before I do, s like, let me automate some stuff like before maximum P plus one. Let's make a different road. Uh, let's take an example. Make it a road like this one, I guess. This, this one should be next priority. This would be a size 5, type 5, something. So, it's a it's gonna could just duplicate copy that a size six the size if equals to six true false color is gonna be Gonna be white, right? So, double color, and the outline is gonna be just black. And we don't change sizes because it seems that the size is the same by itself, like the width of it. So we're not changing that. What we're gonna do is so first, your size by seven. You can make this equal or. Just more than six, just in case the decimals somehow work for this time. All right, so let's copy this road. Name Wetzel Palm Road. Size of six. Ooh, uh, not too well, not too good. Uh, it seems like there's a bridge thing here, but we're just not gonna do that in our case. So let's switch the color a little bit out to grayish. Make the stroke a little bit smaller, six point seven maybe. Actually. More. Oof. Something here. Yeah, sure, let's go with that. Now let's add a label for it. 
labels. Uh, here we're just gonna create a new one because we do need to start from scratch. So aim already correct. Uh, use robot if you if you can, because that's a Google Maps kind of default font I like to. Uh, formatting buffer, nothing needs to change here. We can can make this italic. Is this on italic? Not really. This is not Google Maps, is it? Yeah, it's open street map. Should I use Google Maps as an example? Better aesthetic. But you know, just do whatever. Color needs to be I guess black, but a little bit that side. Okay, and look at that, almost perfect. Uh, I'm gonna put this here, just imagine the habit. So size six this is, and you can remember to describe it. Uh, first we need a placement on the line, not the bobbits. Um, make it curved. It's always better to have it curved. In case it's a bendy road. Um, bigger, actually. It needs to be the size based on meters, so make it four meters, maybe. Yeah, kind of three meters. You can fine tune it yourself. It's whatever. Ah, uh, bold. Yeah. So. Now let's see. Not a lot of changes will happen here if I make it connect with a highway, but you can see this happening here. Um, even this open street map is a little bit messed up. You can see these little bumps here, which don't actually happen if you go there to the place. But it's just the way the joints work, and that's why you need to actually pay attention to how your joints actually work. So, so, so. size six, size six. One second, filter. If why did I delete this? Size more than equal six. Phones. Okay, let's make smaller roads, I guess, but where do we have some, for examples? Is this the smallest road we can get? Oh, look at these different highway types. Well, you can figure it out yourself. If you want, you can add a different field of types and deal with that yourself. But, let's see. Let's kind of make sure let's add a as an example here. Example road size six. Okay, so here's a little bit of an issue here. Okay, I don't like how it's formatted here, but This looks like it's always the same length. Let me let me do something. Let me use Google Maps satellite view. So we have a correct thingy happening. So we did a little bit of a mistake. We made the very big rows kind of weirdly fit the smallest rows, which is not ideal for us. As you can already see, this is like this. This is almost a highway size for us. But if we actually look at the actual highway, let's I twenty six. Thank God we see it from afar, but we should 
tweak that after this. Uh, you wanted to know how to do bridges, so uh, the way you do that, as in have one road go over the other, is a little bit messy. Messy bridge road. Size 6. So this goes under, we don't want that. Um, which is a little bit of a bummer. How would you want to fix that is with a Z index. I'm not sure how QJS handles that because you already have symbol layers. A bit breaks things. Might have to get some ingenuity happening. Let me double check. Double check here. Symbol layer. Okay. So let's try this. Let's let's try adding field here. Z index. Integer, sure, whatever doesn't matter. Length, just whatever. So Let's make a Z index two and here we're going to do something. Hold up before I do anything at all. Let me, let me go to symbology and make sure. Okay, fine. All right, so size, say you want to have a size six road going over size seven, deal with this like that. Simple layer, oh, one second. The bool. Oh, that's a little bit of a messy thing. Okay, I misread that. I don't think this can work exactly how we want it to. Um, simpler, simpler. What did I just change? Cancel. Let me, let me double check. I don't think it's possible. That's weird. Shouldn't be an issue. Um, out of my boundary, I would say, if you want to actually make a bridge, then you would need to create a size 8 and put it on top. That's the best thing I can think of. So, if you want, paste, and this would be like, size 6 bridge, make size 6. And I think size six and um the index over two over over one and make it just click OK and that should work. Let's double check. Yep, it goes over now. Uh however uh, we don't have these outlines here, which is because of our symbol layers, and that I'm afraid I'm not sure how exactly to fix. You could probably create a new thing here and actually duplicate this one. Uh, 
Okay, let's make it darker. Go here and make crevices three. Okay. Oops, that shouldn't have happened. Yeah, about that. Hmm. Try with the one. Okay, that would work, but yeah, it would work. So, get the one. And looks fine, I guess. Like a bridge kind of thing. Uh, if you want to make bendy roads, you can either do it like that. You should probably already know that, or create, or click on this thing and digitize it and bend it however you want. Let's see how it looks when it's bendy. Why not? Kirby road. A size of 5 or 6 actually. Z index of... we don't change that. Okay. Looks great, yay. Uh, as for connecting, well... It's very bad because our sample size is all over. Oh, right, we wanted to test. Actually, it looks like this highway is the same kind of width as your main roads. So it's a bit weird to be fixing that because we are to scale. So instead of size, I think you should be using types and then size should be actual width of it which is then i'm not gonna do it here but i'm gonna show you how to do it here meters meters at scale you're gonna do uh edit and make it actual size so it's gonna be whatever size you or width in this case you would have to create the width uh argument uh, Decimal or integer. I don't know why decimals are not working for me. Shouldn't be an issue. I don't know. <laughs> but it's really just like that. I'm not sure if you wanted something else. But this is for you. Um, the wolf person who was asking about making roads. I don't think I not covered anything specific. Um, I'm once again kind of skipping this issue about connecting roads. Because it's really hard to six. So the this kind of thing, um, you just have to play around and see. But the quickest fix would probably be making this a flat hold up should be flat um don't know what's doing this in a preview but should work yeah kind of <laughs> uh I don't know, how do these people do it here? Let's see. Um, once it joins, where is the joiner? Um, where does it? How do we get on this highway? I want to see. Okay, it kind of doesn't show it, so it's up to you, I guess, how you want to show it, getting on this highway. Um, okay, there isn't a good one, okay, but it's not on the same type of highway. 
I guess you can play with simple layers once again, which goes on top of the other. You have to create all these variables and play around with it. We still have kind of time, I guess. We kind of try doing that. So this road going into this one. Let me think. So probably. What you would want to do is make this one, but make this, make this two, and this bridge should be two, one. Think. Uh, let's try. Okay. Yeah, we messed it up again. Or was it because of this? Yes. Okay. And there we go. Fixed. Kind of. Doesn't look the best, but that's what we get. Mm -mm. Probably because you don't want to be getting on the highway in this kind of angle, unless it's like left or right, it wouldn't make it so much of a highway. I don't know. I would want it to have on some kind of... ...angle, and it would look like this, but then again you have this... ...little trickster playing around with you, so once again... You can probably make this a zero the outline and it's gonna go in. Just play around with your symbol layers and you should be fine. Anything else I didn't cover like railroads? Um if you wanna make railroads it's just pretty simple. Just well, it's probably out of this video, but I mean, you already have so many tools in here. Uh, the simplest way I can explain it to you is you have it here, these things, just use them or just create a new one and change the parameters and add a new one. I'll, I'll just show it for you. Let's make it a uh, size five just for the, just for me to show it to you. How a railroad would look like. Railroad. Size of 5. Okay, and... Let's copy the rules of this. Paste. Size 5. 5. 5. And it's going to be... Same size. 6.1. 6.1 and here you just make it a dash line but it should be custom dash part pattern and dash Five and five, and this should be. You can keep this whatever. You can keep this black, and you don't make don't have to make it a dash. And here you have a kind of a railroad. Uh, it doesn't look like that, of course. Um, You know, you know what I'm talking about. Just play around with it. It's really not that hard, I guess. Not for me. If you're still confused, just if you want to talk about this, just Discord me, Bobby Pokey 0001, and we can figure this out. Everything else should be pretty self explanatory. Okay, how, let's see how we do with railroads here, just for the sake of it. Uh, yeah, but 
it's less wide and the dashes are the dashes are the same but it's less wide i guess depends on the meters that's all that's really everything i really wanted to cover if you have questions once again reach me see you later